Hi gang, is it just me or is summer like flying by? It's uh, crazy, we're almost done August and we're halfway through August and uh, we've got lots of races coming up very soon. Uh, big shout out to Anna for completing her uh, sprint triathlon on the weekend and thanks a million to Greg and uh, Brenda and um, Sarah for uh, giving them, the, uh, giving Anna the lovely support at that race and uh, heading out to volunteer. Volunteering is a great way to kind of get a different bird's eye view of the action at a race. And uh, it's also really rewarding because you're helping other people. So big shout out to Anna and a shout out to Erica, who's doing her first uh, Olympic distance triathlon this weekend. So good luck to you. I don't know if it's your first, but I definitely think uh, it's a, your first in a while. So good luck to you. Uh, and make sure you jump back on on Tuesday next week and let us know how it went. We're dying to hear how it all went. Uh, and Greg, you've got your Olympic distance coming up in 11 days, uh, Wasaga Beach. So uh, we'll give you another shout out next week, but good luck to you. Uh, and make sure you taper properly this week or next week. Um, Aaron had a question about uh, how to run with cleats last week. Uh, so it is tricky for sure, and it definitely is trickier when it's wet outside. But uh, Brenda answered that question really well, the same way I would. Holding on to your bike helps to balance your yourself uh, when you're running in the cleats, and you just slow down a little bit and watch where you're running. Uh, but uh, you won't be the first person to run in cleats, so just practice it and you'll get the hang of it. That is why a lot of people like to take at least take their feet out of their shoes, their bike shoes on the bike. So that's an easy, probably the easiest skill to teach yourself. Uh, and it's just a matter of practice. So you don't have to do the flying dismount if you don't want, but if you can practice just taking your feet out and putting them up on top of the pedals and then pedaling like that, it really isn't that hard. Um, it's just practice, practice, practice. Uh, Elizabeth brought up a point, a question about her hands cramping when she's swimming. Um, I don't know, Elizabeth, uh, if when you were taught swimming, I know when I was, we had to hold our hands really tight like this and like make a little cup like that because we thought that this would actually create a greater or a stronger catch. But as it turns out, we've learned since then that it's actually better to have your fingers slightly spread and this creates a web effect. So just like this, and I tend to kind of hold these two fingers a little bit closer together. So you create this web effect and look how much bigger my paddle is compared to this. So you're actually creating a greater surface area with your hands like this and your hands are much more relaxed than they would be like that. So if you are doing that, then that could be what's causing the cramping in your hands. Um, I also, as you can probably see, have a little bit of arthritis coming on in my fingers, so I get cramping from the, the arthritis. So I doubt uh, that's something, an issue for you yet, Elizabeth, but if it is, that um, that's just something that you have to live with, unfortunately. Um, what else? Uh, if you guys could all put your races on the calendar so I can make sure that I update your training peaks, that would be awesome. I see some races on there. So I've seen the Olympic uh, distance at um, Mooney's Bay, the Canadian, and I've also seen some doing the Esprit. Woohoo! I'll be there. So I will be there uh, doing the swim cycle and hope to meet you all uh, or some of you that are doing it. But please do make sure you put your race on your calendar so I know which one you're doing and I can taper you down properly for the race that you're doing. Very exciting. It's all starting to come together and uh, I'm really, really excited for all of you for your, your hard training and now what I call harvest time, which is when you get to actually take your training out to harvest and uh, see how you did. Uh, for the fall, if anybody's interested, we will be opening the swim program in the coming days. Uh, so have keep an eye open for your in your in inbox. Uh, we will be emailing all 170 members first to give them the option to uh, join our swim program for the fall. 
so you guys get first dibs on it. So do make sure that you register um, as soon as possible so you don't meet, miss this time slot that you want. And if you do have any questions about the swimming and, and which class you should be in or any of that, please do feel free to uh, reach out to Brenda on that. She can certainly help you because she knows all of our classes. Anyway, keep it up, gang. Um, yeah, looking forward to seeing some of you at the Esprit. Otherwise, uh, lots uh, more questions coming in, hopefully, for next week week and uh, all the best to Erica this weekend. Have a great week. Keep up the great training. You're almost there.